YouTube. Today in the Naughty Librarian, I am bringing you a book unhaul. So you guys saw in my last video, I'm finally doing the bookshelf tour and a big part of this bookshelf tour is me cleaning out books. So this is part one of the massive unhaul I've just like compiled. So this is part one of it. There will be more parts, but I don't want to overwhelm everybody. <laughs> These are just books that need to not be on my shelves. I don't necessarily have any bad feelings toward them, but they just need to go. First thing leaving my shelf is Sleeping Dragons by Ophelia Bell. This is an omnibus, so I think it's like four novellas, I believe. And um, this was kind of a guilt buy. I was at a book festival and the author was there and I was talking to her and I kind of didn't really want to buy the book, but then I was talking to her, so then I felt guilty for not buying the book, so I bought it. This is a paranormal romance. I, I'm just really not interested in it. You know, no hard feelings. I was debating getting rid of this one, but in the end it went in the unhaul pile. So this is The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. Heather and Jessica are the fug girls from online. They have like a fashion blog and they wrote a book. And I read this and it was all right. Like I got it at a book signing because they were there with another author and again I felt bad for not buying it so I went and bought it. But um, I did read this and it it's not bad, it's just not particularly something I loved. So it's, it's me to make room for other books I actually do love. I'm going to get rid of both Passenger and Wayfarer, both by Alexandra Bracken. I got these because I... I like the premise of it, and Alexander Bracken, you know, is a very popular author. I did read The Darkest Minds, and I did not like it. I know I'm the rare person who didn't like it. And these have been on my shelf for so long, and I've kind of been soured to <laughs> Alexander Bracken books because I didn't like that other book so much. But, you know, they've been on my shelf for this many years, and I still haven't read them, so chances are I'm just never going to read them. And I got both of these at library book sales, so it's not like I invested a lot of money. But I'd rather this donate them to someone who will read them and love them, because I'm not doing it. I'm also going to get rid of Soundless by Rochelle Mead. I love Rochelle Mead. I love the Vampire Academy series. I love the Bloodline series. Those are my jams. But I really haven't read anything else by Rochelle Mead. And I did get this at a library book sale. It's like practically brand new. So it was a good find for a library book sale. But, um... <sighs> just not gonna read it <laughs> like I'd want to read it but like I know I'm not going to so I'd rather just donate to someone who's gonna read it and love it also leaving my shelves is wildest dreams by Jane Ann Krentz this is um two novellas I believe and uh I constantly see you know her books at library book sales and perhaps that should be my first clue that maybe they're not that popular but <laughs> I constantly see her books at library book sales and I have picked up a few because I think they're just like generic romancing type of things but like I have zero desire to read this zero desire <laughs> so it's gonna leave just gonna make space for books that I actually am going to read I'm also getting rid of God Behaving Badly by Marie Phillips. This was just kind of an impulse buy. I got it at a library book sale. And I had heard about this, like, probably back when I was in college, like a long time ago. And I wanted to read it. It seems kind of funny. But it's, it's the kind of book I would have liked when I was younger and didn't know about a lot of other genres out there. And now that I've read so much more books, I don't see myself loving this as much as I would have hoped to. So I'm just going to donate it. It needs to go to a happy home. I'm going to get rid of The 13th Continuum by Jennifer Brody. Okay, here's the deal with this. <laughs> I go to a lot of book festivals because I'm fortunate that I live in Los Angeles. There's many of them. And Jennifer Brody is a local author and she is at all of them. Like literally almost every festival I go to, she's there. And I constantly see her, but I never had interest in her book. And it got to the point where I'm just like, I've seen her like 18 times. I need to just buy her book. <laughs> so I did. And it's signed. And um, I, I just know I'm never, ever going to read it. Like, it sounds like a cool idea, but I just know I'm never going to read it. Never, ever. So it's just, I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't know why I bought it. Just guilt, I guess. Another library book sale find was Before the Fall by Noah Hawley. And... It's one of those like generic fiction books that I saw and I had heard about and thought was cool. You know how Lost had all of those supernatural elements? This is like that, but with fewer supernatural elements, I think. And I'm just not into it. Like, it's on my shelf because I've heard good things about it. It's supposed to be good. But does it have a dragon? No, it doesn't. So <laughs> I'm probably not going to read it. 
I honestly forgot I still owned Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I, I forgot I owned it because um, I really, really disliked it. It was, it was unpleasant for me to read. <laughs> I think perhaps if I would have read this when it was first released, I might have enjoyed it more, but now that I read it long after it, were, it was released and I had read many other books who frankly did it better, it wasn't as good anymore. So it's just kind of, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time for it, but I just really disliked it. And honestly, I forgot I had it, so <laughs> this is gonna go. Kind of a controversial choice, but I'm gonna get rid of Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I just, I didn't like it, I'll be honest. I read it and it wasn't good to me. I, I know a lot of people who really did re truly enjoy this, but it wasn't me. I wasn't one of them, so they can just go. I got two books by Allie Carter that I'm getting rid of. I have All Fall Down and High Society. I got these at library book sales and I just never see myself reading them. They're like generic YA thriller heist caper kind of stories and I'm sure they have something to offer the right reader. It's just they've been on my shelf this long and I haven't ever opened them so they should just go. Another book I totally forgot was on my shelf was Fallen by Lauren Kate. Did not remember I owned this. I read it like a long time ago and it was bad. Like legit very very bad. Ugh, like, I don't even know. It's just like generic Twilighty offshoot YA paranormal fiction and it's just bad. It was, oh gosh, it was so bad. <laughs> like, it hurt my soul that it was this bad and I, it was on my shelf still and I didn't remember. Like I found some weird shit on these shelves when I really went looking. So yeah, this one it is going. It was bad. I'm gonna get rid of Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf. I bought this for a book club and um, I bought it super late in the month for the book club so I didn't have time to read it <laughs> so when I went to the book club I'm like I didn't read the book but I love spoilers so just talk away and um, since the book club happened I still have not read it it seems like it could be kind of cool but um, yeah I have I have zero desire to read it so it's just gonna go it's just gonna go I have made my peace with it it was a bad choice I'm finally ready to part ways with Beautiful Creatures. I've had it on my shelf for a long time because I did like Beautiful Creatures, but the rest of the books of the series were so bad, like really bad, really, really bad. Beautiful Creatures was all right though. So I kept it just for the sake of having it. And then I was like, I never want to see it again. <laughs> like I never open it. I never think about it. I never want to do anything with it. Besides I see it on my shelf sometimes. So I was just like, this it could just go. I don't need it. it I don't need this in my life. I'm gonna get rid of Into the Shadow by Christina Dodd. It's just um, generic paranormal romance type of stuff and I have like very little to no interest in reading it. It might be good. I don't know. It just, I don't even think it's like the first book of the series and I'm ugh, like, I just, I don't have enough time in the day to read all of the books in the world and I, this is one I'm just gonna have to part with. If I ever want to read it in the future, I could get it from the library, but it's gonna leave. Also leaving is Night of the Wolf by Alice Borshot, and this is like I bought it because I thought it was a romance and now I don't think it's a romance. I think it's historical paranormal fiction because it is like in the Roman Empire and I think there's werewolves. I'm not sure but like bleh. I'm never gonna read it. Never ever. Okay controversial pick. I'm gonna get rid of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon because I will never read this like I I have made my peace with it I will never read it it is so fucking long it's insane how long it is how long are you so it's 850 pages and then there's like a little bit of like the next book in here so 850 pages nope no 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 too much it's too much book for me I do not find myself wanting to pay attention to something for 850 pages it's a very rare thing that makes me want to pay attention to that, but especially not historical romance fiction. Oh gosh, for 800 pages? Oh, like, <laughs> like it's never gonna happen. I've made my peace with it. I'm a monster, I know, but it's, just, it's never gonna happen. I'm gonna get rid of The Scent of Shadows by Vicki Peterson. I got this at a library book sale. Uh, it's just kind of an urban fantasy story, but I kind of thought the writing was a little bad. 
that's kind of weird because I haven't really read it, but I did skim it to see. I'm like, well, does this sound like something I might try to pick up? And I skimmed it in the writing I read while skimming was not very good. So <laughs> I don't foresee myself picking this up. It'd be random if I did. So yeah, this is just going. I'm gonna get rid of The Fallen Razael by Christina Douglas. It is paranormal romance. It's about fallen angels. And like, I never get into angels. Like it's hard to write a good angel story. And like, I haven't really read a good angel story. And I don't have high hopes for this one being very good either. So I mean, the cover's cool. It's got a nice font. And the cover's nice, but it, oh, I'm not gonna read it. It's gonna go. This book I got by mistake. There was a blind date with a book at a book festival I went to. And they're like, oh, for like a dollar, you can just pick a book. And I was like, well, it's a dollar, okay. So um, yeah, I got Danielle Steele Jewels. And I have 0% interest in it. Zero interest. However, like Danielle Steele's author photo is pretty legit amazing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I ain't gonna read this. I am never gonna read this, it's going. Also leaving my shelves is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I got this at a library book sale for like 10 cents and I was like, oh, Princess Bride, I love Princess Bride. And then I was like, I ain't never gonna read the book version of this. <laughs> like, I love the movie. I will never read the book version. I know I won't. Like, perhaps it has something good to offer, but I don't care. I like the movie. I don't need to have this on my shelf. I'm getting rid of this copy of Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss because I have a second copy. <laughs> I don't need two copies on my shelf. I have this like mass market size one and I have like a big paperback version. So I'm gonna keep the big paperback version because it's like nicer to hold than this little one and I'm just, I'm gonna donate this one to the world. I still need to read it. I'm a monster and I haven't read it. I have two copies of a book I have not read. <laughs> so now I only have one copy of it, which is a little better, but um, yeah, I need to read this. I know it's a great book, but I had two copies, so this one's gonna get donated. I have two books by Dorinda Jones. I have First Grave on the right and Second Grave on the left. This is book one and two of this series, and I read this one for Wicked Spirits Book Club because I already own these, and I didn't really like it a lot. Like, not enough that I want to read this one ever, so I'm just like, well, they, they can go together and be donated so someone can get the first two books of the series and they can feel happy because it didn't make me happy. Like, it could have been good. It just, it, I didn't think it was good. There you go, I didn't think it was good. Blah, blah, blah. Also leaving my shelf is Before I Wake by Katherine Smith. I kept it because Cheryl and Kenyon had a blurb on the front, which isn't much of a reason to keep something. It's a kind of urban fantasy, paranormal romance type of deal, except like, I don't care. It's like, I think she goes into dreams in it. And I was like, zero <laughs> percent like, care about it. So um, yeah, it's going. Also leaving my shelf is Damien by Jacqueline Frank. And the thing is, I'm getting rid of this one because I've read another book by Jacqueline Frank and hated it. I don't like to write off authors just because of one book, because what if I picked up the one bad book they wrote, you know? Like I try to read at least two books, but if I read two books, and they're both equally bad, like me and the author are not gonna get along. So I did read one by Jacqueline Frank, not two. That's why I had this on my shelf still. But that other one was so bad that I'm like, I don't wanna read this. <laughs> it's like vampires, generic vampire paranormal romance type deal. And her other one was a vampire paranormal romance and it was really bad. So I, I just don't, I don't wanna fuck with it. It's going. Also leaving is Triptych by Karen Slaughter. I bought this at a library book sale because I was watching another booktuber at one point who really, really liked Karen Slaughter. So I was like, oh, maybe I should read some of this. They're kind of like crime, mystery, thrillers. And, uh, and I'm not super into crime, mystery, thrillers. Just not my deal. Like I've read some and enjoyed them, but it's never something like I think of like, ooh, what do I want to read today? A mystery thriller. Like it's never something I pick up right away. And I've had it on my shelf for probably like two years now and I still haven't read it, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Also leaving my shelf is Kissing Midnight by Emma Holly. And it's kind of generic paranormal romance and I just wasn't super into it. I think it is kind of historic, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is historic paranormal romance. And part of me wants to read it a 
you know, historic paranormal romance, but part of me doesn't. <laughs> I got like most of these books at library book sales. Very few of these I bought like firsthand. So I'm not like losing a lot of money here. So if I ever really, really get the urge to read this, I can get it from the library. I don't need to have it on my shelf. Also leaving is Night's Pleasure by Amanda Ashley. This is, um, I have no idea what this is about. It's about vampires and vampire hunters and I don't know. I'm not like wowed by it. It doesn't feel very original. So I was just bleh, like, I don't, I don't ever see myself picking it up. Another paranormal romance leaving my shelf is Burning Darkness by Jamie Rush. And I mean, the cover is kind of provocative. I liked it that it was pink. It's got like people boning on it. So I was like, okay, maybe, maybe this could be cool. But it's more or less, um, it's not necessarily paranormal necessarily. Like, I don't know. It's kind of more sci-fi, I would say, because it is about like people who have gained supernatural abilities due to like a science experiment gone wrong. And then they had kids and the kids are off in the world and they're getting hunted. So people are hunting these like magic kids. <laughs> well, they're like a grown up now. So magic offspring of these like people but it happened because of a science experiment so I don't really think it's paranormal so much as it's sci-fi and I, I don't know I'm just going down a rabbit hole here I just don't see myself reading it <laughs> I'm also getting rid of Into the Fury by Kat Martin this is romantic suspense and I'll just read you the first slide of it because it like fully shows you why I'm getting rid of it Sinners, whores, and sluts beware, your time is at hand. A faceless menace is threatening lingerie models on a cross-country tour, and Ethan Brody is there to defend and protect. Which is fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm sure she's not calling these people whores, but like, and it's probably a killer saying that, but I'm like, why put that on the blurb? Oh my goodness. And then it's like, oh, he's hunting a, a crew of lingerie models on tour and this one guy's defending him. It's so fucking ridiculous that I can't with it. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh my, I just, uh, bleh. Also leaving my shelf is Smoke and Ashes by Tanya Huff. Like, part of me still wants to read this, but part of me also doesn't want to read this. I'm kind of a little on the fence about it. Mainly just because the cover looks terrible. <laughs> like, it's a terrible cover. Look at that. Like, it's so bad. It's such a bad cover. Oh my gosh. It says, a novel of vampires, wizards, and TV terror. Oh god, that's why I'm getting rid of it. This sounds bad, actually. Never mind. Yeah, no, no. It's about a, a wizard trainee woman who works on a vampire hunter TV show. And I'm like, nope, no thank you, no thank you. I'm also getting rid of Dark Victory by Brenda Joyce, mainly just because it's book two of this trilogy and I don't have book one, so what am I gonna do with book two? And it's like Masters of Time, so I think they're like time traveling Highlander warriors and they're doing stuff while time traveling. Like, I'm not into it. I'm really not. <laughs> Zero percent in the time travel romance. It's like bleh. Oh, I had another book of this series. Um, I um, I think I got rid of one of these earlier in my in my unhaul. I don't remember what it was called, but another one by Christina Dodd. This is Storm of Visions. It might be a different series though, because the other one seemed about shapeshifters, and this one doesn't. So just two different books by her. <laughs> Again, it's about descendants of magical creatures, and I'm not into descendants. Like I want to see like. The OGs, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm an OG, just like paranormal creature reader, but I don't really care about these people's children in the future. I just don't. It's just not my jam. It's leaving. I'm never going to read it. Like, it seems like something I would read, but like, I, it also seems like something that I would read and be like, bleh about. So, um, yeah, it's going. It's a fair unhaul. I think it's like 30 something books. Those are going. I, I, you know, like I need to clean out my shelves because my shelves are so full and I just cleaned out a bunch of stuff and they're already full again. I have a problem. <laughs> In my defense though, like I didn't spend a lot of money on these books. Like very few of them I bought wholesale. Like most of these are library book sales or secondhand or someone gave to me. So realistically, I may be losing maybe 40 bucks. Again, that's because I bought like two of these books firsthand. I don't really feel bad about these leaving my shelves. Like, I, I can't remember any of the titles in here and thinking like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Like, none of them do that to me. So I feel like I'm making a good choice. So this is leaving. 
I feel good. It's good to just clean out your shelf sometimes. You gotta make peace with things you're not gonna read. Let me know in the comments down below, have you actually read any of the books I'm getting rid of? And if so, I mean, you could try to make your case why I should keep it, but chances are they will have already been donated by the time this video airs. So <laughs> make your case down below just in case that's not that case and I still have it. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!